All right, so you guys received your Ultra Pro Strut Bar. Now what? Simple task, only a few things you need to do to install this onto your car. The first, thing, first things first, obviously, is you're gonna wanna open up the hood, all right? Make sure that what you purchase goes with your car. I, for, I, for example, here, I own a Hyundai Sonata 2010 3.3 engine. That's what it says here on the sticker here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna need a nine by 10 socket and a wrench to remove the uh, bolts on one side. I'm only gonna do one side first, just to place it on that side and see how it goes. If it goes well, then I'm gonna start removing the others and start placing it evenly. Uh, it doesn't have any adjusters here, like some other ones do, like the old Eclipse that I did have. It had um, uh, a bracket that you can, I guess, move from one side to the other this one is just well-made strut bar, just goes onto your car on the engine bay. Uh, excuse me, it goes onto your strut tower. Uh, it's gonna look really nice. Let me just go ahead and remove the bolt on one side and then place it and see how that goes. So let's go ahead. Okay. So I have three bolts here. I'm using a 916 wrench. And just remove. All three of them, only on one side first. Don't go ahead and start removing all of them. Just be very careful when you remove them that once you get to the top, hold it firmly so you don't drop that bolt. Okay. Like I said in my previous clip, the whole purpose for, for this strut bar was so I don't have to remove my engine cover. I want to keep the engine cover. That's the only reason why I spent $200 on this strut bar. Because all the other strut bars that I see, you're going to have to remove this. I don't want to remove this. I like the engine cover. All I need is just the bar. So let me go ahead and tighten it up. Seems like it's a perfect fit. So I didn't really tighten it all the way, just that I know that it's placed there and it's placed well. Let me go ahead and remove the other side. Just pause the video. I don't want to take too long here. Just watching me unscrew these bolts. Hey guys, good morning. So it's the following day. I've been working on the strut bar since last night. I started around, I want to say seven, eight, but then I stopped because I was having dinner with the family. And then around 11.30 in the evening, I started picking up on it again because so the strut bar if you notice there is no there's no adjustment on any side it's just a straight front strut brace tower whatever you want to call it your front strut tower um this right here in order for you to install it 
I don't know if you noticed in the clip yesterday, what I did is I put it onto one side. To tell you the truth, I actually put it on that side. So I removed the bolts you're gonna need. I believe it was a 916 uh, socket. You're gonna remove all three bolts. Then you're gonna place it on this side, put, put, put the bolts back on, but don't tighten it. Just put it on. Now this, the brace that I'm working on was the Ultra Racing specifically made for the Sonata 3.3. So you're gonna put it in on that side and then you're gonna notice that if you're gonna put it on, on, on the driver's side, you're gonna have a problem because the way the pins are located from the strut tower, it's located on this direction. It's not straight so you can't just put it on top. It won't fit. What you're gonna need to do, and I did it on this side, Left it on that side just because I didn't have enough space to work here. So what I did was I jacked up the car, took the wheel out, removed the um, a few th three pieces, three uh, three bolts that I had to remove. Take the car out, and if you can, you can either have a uh, a mechanic go to a mechanic. They're not gonna charge you much. I I think they'll charge you about. $30 because all they're really doing is they're gonna jack up the car just a little bit So you can take out the wheel Take the strut tower Your suspension the coil over it drop it down just a little bit. So where the threading Not the bolts you're gonna remove the bolts, but the threading you're gonna have to lower it. So then this Strut bar can easily be placed on the circles once it's placed on the circles Then you can raise it back up the um your uh your your suspension raise it up again the strut towers so then you can um put back the bolts that was the only way to do it because you're not going to do it having the car placed flat on the ground it's not going to work because there's no way to adjust it but either way it took me a while but i finally did it but now so let's hit the road and let's see how this car handles now that we have the strut bar on guys big big difference for the past I want to say seven years I believe that's one or eight years yeah I want to say eight years when I installed my suspension before I installed my SMA coilovers the suspension I had installed a 1997 Eclipse like I mentioned in my previous video it was a 9798 Eclipse strut bar that is what I installed in my car that bar had adjustments, put it on. In order for me to put that on, I had to remove my engine cover. I did not like that, but I installed it either way. I think I spent about no more than 40 bucks on that bar. Didn't feel a thing. I did not feel a thing. It was no difference. Uh, then I removed the strut bar, took it out, put back my engine cover. About a year later, I purchased the coilovers. A few months later, I put the, purchased the coilovers. When I purchased it, I never put back the Eclipse. I believe I sold it. The Eclipse strut bar, I sold that. Um, so when my car was dropped, I, I had a faster response from turning. However, uh, my uh, wheels, I was getting a lot of negative camber, so I had to get a camber kit, which I didn't know about until probably like two years later when my wheels were bad. I had to do my homework and investigate why my the inside of my tires were sh shredded. It was because I had negative camber. So I bought the camber kit, everything was fine. However, each time I made sharp turns, I would still feel that body feeling. I didn't like that feeling. I didn't think much of it. Again, I didn't even think about buying a new strut bar because I had purchased one before and I thought it was useless. Let's fast forward to now. At this time, I got my coilovers, got my camber kit, the car is dropped. Sorry. And 
I finally installed some good strut bar. Again, the strut bar that I have, there's no adjustments. It's just a place on. In order for me to place it on, like I told you, I had to take a wheel out, take the strut tower down, um, and take the pins down so I can have enough room to put my uh, strut bar. Uh, that took a pain, but you know what? It was well worth it. Because now when I drive, I feel that turn. I'm in there. I'm in those corners. I don't feel that, whoa, whoa, that rocking feeling. No, I don't feel that. Well, maybe a little bit up and down. That's just because of my uh, SMA, my uh, suspension. It's not that tight. So I do feel that little bump. That's fine. But when it comes to turning, I don't want my wife hitting my shoulder each time I make, I make a turn. You know what I mean? Um, I love it. I love the core, I love the strut bar. Finally, it took me this long to finally get that feeling. Uh, yes, it was pretty pricey. It was two hundred dollars, and I spent two hundred dollars on this bar. I said to myself, "Why am I spending two hundred dollars on a bar?" Remember, mind you, I didn't know how bars work yet. Why am I spending two hundred dollars on a bar, knowing that I had spent one years before and it didn't work and didn't feel a thing? I said, "I want to do it." I want to do it. I've had that in my eBay uh, wish list for so long. I'm going to put the link in the, in this video on the description. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one, go right ahead. I'm not being sponsored by Ultra Ultra Racing. I have no affiliation with them. But um, I only want to show what I'm using. And everything that I have in my description, things that I post are things that I'm actually using. I'm not going to lie to you guys and look up an item not know anything about it and say yeah it's a great item you should buy it no I want to test it I'm testing I'm still driving I've been driving now for 20 minutes uh, 25 minutes and uh, I love the feeling all right guys that's all I have for, for now uh, my next video my car enthusiast sorry guys who are in the resale business uh, right now I'm working on my car just because I have so many new products car parts that I purchased that I want to record but I am going to record another video on uh, my uh, Goodwill and Savage Salvage Salvation Army uh, treasure fund treasure hunt uh, a little bit of uh, treasure finds all right guys thanks for watching and I hope you guys found this video useful if you guys are in the market for a uh, strut bar I highly suggest you go with the um, ultra racing all right guys peace